Hello everyone. Welcome to TechSQL. In this session we are going to uh, look at mirroring troubleshooting tips. So let's take a quick look. So it's very important to understand uh, mirroring failure scenarios uh, to quickly troubleshoot the SQL Server mirroring setup. So uh, it's very important to keep the query handy to check the mirroring status where you can select the uh, database ID, name, mirroring role, mirroring state, mirroring safety level, uh, then the partner name, partner instance, witness name, witness state description, and all this you can uh, very well uh, select from the DMVs. So let's go through the troubleshooting scenarios. So let's say that if uh, you know uh, the witness server fails, database, what happens when that? Database mirroring continues functioning without interruption, except that automatic failover is not possible. Once the witness becomes operational, it automatically joins the database mirroring sessions. Next thing, what happens when mirroring fails? The principal continues functioning, but the mirroring state is disconnected and the principal is running exposed. Once the mirror database becomes operational, it automatically assumes the role of the mirror and starts synchronizing with the principal. For as long as the mirroring states, state stays disconnected, the transaction log space on the principal cannot be reused. Even if you back up the transaction log, if the file grows and reaches its maximum size limit or runs out of disk space, the complete database may come to halt. To prevent this, you have two options. Either plan for enough, di enough disk space for the transaction log to grow and bring back the mirror database before the space fills up or break the mirroring session. Let's say the mirror is unavailable and the principal already is running exposed and the same time witness is also lost. At this time, the principal becomes isolated and can't service the clients. Even though the principal database is running, it's not available to the clients and if you attempt to connect to the database, you get the message, database is enabled for database mirroring, but neither the partner or witness server instances are available. The database cannot be opened. If the mirror or witness cannot be brought back online quickly, then the only way to resume database service is to terminate the database mirroring. So how do we terminate the database mirroring? You can execute the below command, all to database, database name, say partner off. And once the mirror becomes available, you can very well go ahead and re-establish the database mirroring session. The principal will start sending the log information to the mirror and mirror will eventually catch up. If the backed up, if you backed up the transaction log after terminating the database mirroring session, you need to restore those transaction log back up on the mirror before you can re-establish the database mirroring session. There is no need to do a full backup of the principal database and restore on the mirroring. It's not necessary. Only the transaction log backup restore is required. Once the witness becomes available, you can join in the witness as, the, the witness will also join and then your entire mirroring setup will start running smoothly. Hope this helps. Thank you.